Joining us right now, the director of VSSC, uh, Mr. Huni Krishnan Nair. Sir, a lot of focus on Gaganyan. Where do things stand, sir? Several tests that's, that have been carried out. Crucial one coming up in December. Yeah, Gaganyan, uh, it Gaganyan has many, uh, what you call as test uh, missions, like test vehicle mission, unmanned missions. Before we put, uh, we were, we have the manned mission. So these are all activities are going on for parachute testing with the uh, dropping from helicopter, from aircraft, test vehicle, further mission for testing the escape system and also getting, preparing the uh, subsystems for the first unmanned mission and uh, uh, the subsequent unmanned missions in where subsystems are getting ready. So all these activities are going on in full steam. Okay. So the, obviously the next focus has been around the India's Bharat uh, Antariksh station, India's space station. Uh, we understand the model is before the government now for approval. What really stands out, sir, from whatever you've seen so far? No, that is, uh, see, if you want to have a long duration stay in a weightlessness condition, we cannot use a small capsule. We need a, a, a huge space where our other facilities are available, like a life support system. You need to have a, a, a exercise and other th daily you know, systems like waste management. So it's like a house in space. So it has to be more volume. And uh, again, it is you cannot launch a space station in one uh, launch vehicle. Like, you know, the International Space Station. There are so many space shuttle launches as well as Russian launches to build it. So we need to have multiple launches of our launch vehicle. And then the modules will be sent and they will be assembled, docked in space. And then uh, there will be uh, no, living quarters, experimental quarters. So this design phase is going on now. And uh, once the, we get the, once the approval process is also going on parallelly. So once we get it, it will be. So since you're talking about launch vehicle, obviously when India talks about putting a man on moon, uh, the launch vehicle becomes very crucial. NGLV uh, once again uh, currently under uh, process right now, waiting for approval. But that's the next ambitious step of ISRO. Where does it stand, sir? So NGLV uh, is the next generation heavy lift vehicle, which is under a design phase. It is going on. Design is going. On. So that would be crucial for India's manned mission to moon and going beyond. If there are for our future requirement, we need to depend on uh, NGLV. Thank you, sir. Thank you for speaking. To us. India's most ambitious space project is the Bharatiya Antariksh Station, India's space station and this is the model that ISRO has displayed. This is something that has already been submitted to the government, the design model of this and uh, ISRO is waiting for approval and by 2035, ISRO plans to put up this space station in low earth or orbit and this will take place in multiple launches. This whole setup has to be put up in space uh, after taking uh, all these objects in multiple launches by ISRO. What this essentially will do is that uh, this space, space station will be set up and just like any other space station, including the International Space Station, this will have a docking system where Indian astronauts uh, will be able to reach low Earth orbit in space and then enter the space station and spend multiple time, multiple days there. In fact, uh, there are newer technologies that uh, ISRO plans to have in this uh, space station. Uh, they are saying that this new technology would be on orbit refueling, which means that there could be extended period of uh, functioning of this uh, space station. They are also saying that uh, it will have a micro meteoroid protection system. That's a hazard that any space station or satellite has. They are saying it will have a protection system. It will also have space habitat design, radiation monitoring and protection, and robotic support elements. This is the model of uh, Indian space station, the Bharatiya Antriksh station, which is likely to be up in space sometime by around 2035. This is an ambitious project of ISRO and uh, ISRO hoping that uh, much before that, there are other projects that they have, including Chandrayaan 4 and others, including Gaganyaan. All that will happen. Remember, Gaganyaan is ensuring that a human, an astronaut, Indian astronaut, will be in low Earth orbit in space and then he comes back. But this is a much more ambitious one of having an Indian astronaut in space for a prolonged period of time.
Well, Gaganyaan mission is the crucial one that uh, all focuses on right now, but ISRO is also working on Chandrayaan 4, another ambitious mission of ISRO to collect sample and uh, bring it back to Earth. It's a sample return mission, and uh, this is the proposed module for Chandrayaan 4. The designs have already been submitted to the government of India and it's waiting for approval. This will have a lander just like uh, in the Chandrayaan 3 mission. There will also be a rover. What is special about this is that uh, it will collect samples of rock and soil from the lunar surface, bring it back to the lander and then the module will carry it to the propulsion module which will then return the sample to Earth. Well, there are two crucial challenges in a mission of this nature, sample return uh, mission, and two of them have already been in a way successfully demonstrated by ISRO. During Chandrayaan 3, ISRO tried the hop experiment. Essentially, this lander makes a hop, which showed ISRO that uh, it can restart the lander and then ensure that its engines fire and it can move away or uh, in a way take off from the lunar surface. The other crucial experiment that it also carried out during Chandrayaan-3 is ensuring that the propulsion module moves from the lunar orbit to the Earth orbit. And that's something that they have done in Chandrayaan-3. So some of the crucial stages for Chandrayaan-4 already experimented in a way demonstrated by ISRO. And uh, once the design gets approved, uh, ISRO will start working on it. Uh, they are hoping that they can launch this sometime around 2027, 2028, that's the rough timeline that ISRO is looking at right now. And they're very hopeful that uh, they will manage to ensure that this lander lands on the surface of the moon and ISRO manages to get back samples from the lunar surface to Earth. There are multiple crucial projects that uh, ISRO is working on. Uh, one of it is Chandrayaan-4 and uh, this is the module of Chandrayaan-4 uh, that will carry the lander and the rover to the moon surface and then bring back samples from the lunar surface. And as you can see, it's a much heavier and a bigger one compared to Chandrayaan-3. And uh, it will have propulsion module that will take the lander and the rover till the moon surface and also ensure that propulsion module can bring back the lunar samples to Earth and this after escaping the gravity of uh, moon and then coming back to the Earth uh, orbit and then finally bringing back the samples to Earth. So this is the ambitious project of uh, ISRO and models already prepared and up here. And the other one that ISRO perhaps will work on and is working on is uh, having a new generation launch vehicle. Uh, the design of this once again has been prepared, uh, approvals waited. Why is NGV, the new generation launch vehicle, very important? It's important to ensure that ISRO can go to the surface of moon and perhaps beyond in one shot. And uh, whenever ISRO wants to put perhaps a human being on a lunar surface or perhaps even beyond that because ISRO has spoken to Venus and has spoken about uh, having uh, various lander and rover projects to Venus and other places. If uh, that has to be uh, achieved, then having a new generation launch vehicle that has a significantly higher capacity is very important. And uh, that is why the NGV has been planned. It's so hoping that uh, the plans will get approved and uh, they will carry out several other tests. And in the coming few uh, years, perhaps, the new generation launch vehicle will be up and be ready for use of ISRO.